Here we are going to talk about Revit assemblies and using Conduit as our example inside of here. So we're going to see our assembly show up in here. It's kind of a neat thing that is not used very much. And in the piping world, we create what are called spools, which are kind of sub-assemblies that can be pre uh, assembled or manufactured. So here's an example. I've just got some um, conduit in here, RMC, and I've got a type L for my elbow and a type T here just loaded in out of out of the box parts from Revit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this guy, click on it, hover, tab, and then click to kind of pinch between those two points. And then from there, I'm just going to go up to the top here and say create assembly it's going to create an assembly and i can say conduit fitting you know or conduit spool is the piping word for it and it's going to put it under there good and now i have an assembly in here called spool one or assembly one so if i pick on that it's now an assembly. If I want to edit it, I can go in there. I can disassemble it, it explodes it, removes it from there. What I can do from there, I can take it and sometimes I'll go down on my sunglasses and just hide it temporarily to get it out of the way. Now I'll, I'll click on that segment and maybe go down to uh, all the way to, for instance, here, tab, click, grab all those and say, create assembly. It's going to automatically number it, put it in there. There it is there, click out. Now temporarily I might grab that, go down my sunglasses and hide it. Okay, then I can grab this guy. Now be careful if you go tab, tab, tab in here because you can grab stuff that's being hidden by the temporary. So be careful, pick on here first, then hover, tab. Be selective on what you do. Don't just do a general tab. Okay, here we go again, create, we're on a roll, click out, I don't have to hide those. Then I can click on there, hover, tab, click, sunglasses, oh, sorry, um, not sunglasses, back to here, create assembly, number four, click out. Back to my sunglasses, got ahead of myself there, reset. So now I have these assemblies. We could use a filter to further color code them inside here. Now I can click on here or and right click and I can say create views okay or I can just pick on here up here and say um, create views okay and I can also drag these in as individual components right that's an assembly now so I can grab these guys and bring them in escape escape click on here delete delete Once we have these in our assemblies, okay, I can pick on this guy, right click and say create assembly views. And then I can say, you know, check none. And I can say, well, first of all, I want a, um, a sheet view. And what I'm gonna do is go straight down to here and say, well, I want a C size sheet and hit okay. So what it's gonna do there is it's gonna create the sheet view of that. Now I'm going to go back to here, right click after the fact and say create views. From there I'm going to say I want a floor plan of that assembly and I want, a, you know, a two sections and maybe some uh, fitting schedule and conduit schedule which it's going to make if I don't have one. Okay, I can pick in here and also create a schedule. It's going to do one for me and I can do my elevations if I want part list I don't have I'm not using parts so plan let's do with 3d ortho view some sections right now I'm going to take this off and just hit OK what it's going to do then is it's just going to make all the views now I have an empty sheet and now I can drag these views on so if I want section A I can put section A on there and have a look at that also my section A is set to be fine uh, coarse detail I can change that to be fine detail Okay, and I can modify that view. I can grab an elevation view and drag it on. And again, set my scale, etc. So these, now that I have the sheet, I can take these views, okay, grab the 3D ortho view and pop that on there if I want. Okay, and then take this and change it to be fine detail, etc. 
vector on my scale. So now my sheet here can have any one of these views in here. Okay, now I can go down to this guy, right click, create views. Now this time I'm going to actually make a sheet at the same time and I'm going to put it, put them on it there. So now I have the sheet made here, empty, and now I have all those views. So I can drag the views on, etc., as I please. And then from there, these views, okay, and you can set the default um, detail level and stuff as well with these views so that when they show up, they show up with the scale that you want. If you do want to um, play with the detail level and scale, what you do is when you make your view over here, you can go in and pick in here and pick a template. So if I say section A, you can say view from here, you can set the scale in here and the detail level beforehand, right? So hit OK on that. So from in here, you can, before you hit the OK button, you can go look at all the view templates that you have available when you're creating these views. And these are your normal view templates from your view tablet, uh, view tab over here. So assemblies and sheets, pretty cool. And the last thing to mention is we did choose to create a couple of schedules. So we could grab this schedule and we can also drag these in, put them on a sheet, click on here. Okay, so we've got conduit fitting schedule there and a conduit schedule all based on this one assembly okay, inside of there and you can modify those schedules as well. So assemblies with sheets and views and schedules, very nice.